who's watching, who may not be watching. Um, I am downtown Shanghai. We are meandering about. I just got out of the hospital uh, just a little bit ago, a little preliminary check, and um, some things have come up. I may not actually be able to do my live stream on Sunday. So I'm actually in the People Square station right now. Yay! Oh, looks kind of cool, right? So nifty. Anyway, so we're just going to see what we can see. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is a completely impromptu live stream. And um, yeah, it is totally empty. You're right. Uh, I'm not sure how the audio is looking or the video. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do my live stream on Sunday. And why? Uh, my mom has been kind of uh, sick. She uh, collapsed a couple weeks ago. Her legs weren't working. And my sisters were a little worried about her. And so we went to the hospital. They're like, what do we do, Jimmy? Call the ambulance. What do you do? Mom's on the floor. You call the ambulance. Duh. So they did. And um, yeah. Hopefully I keep you guys. I'm walking through a couple tunnels here. Going through uh, People's Square. Love these uh, saran wrap door things. Anyway, oh, when you know, they got Tim Hortons down here. Hallelujah for Tim Hortons. Gotta love them. Woohoo, Tim Hortons, yay! Everybody loves can of coffee, right? So, ooh, they had a little kayabata there. So, uh, I'm not talking politics right now. Anyway, so. Love this little downtown, little shopping kiosk down here. Got to the, ooh, the funky dolls. See little funky dolls? Yeah. Anyway, so, um, oh, this girl got the, got the little go-go boots going on there. I thought she was a mannequin at first. Apparently she's, uh, she's real. So, hi. So, Anyway, so uh, mom's in the hospital and apparently she's got uh, some funky stuff going on. The, uh, I couldn't even pronounce what the doctor said she has. So um, coincidentally, I was in the hospital today too. I'm having a surgery on Tuesday and hey, from Malaysia. So yeah, um, people swear they had a couple cases in recently. So. Look at the funky underwear shops. Thought she was a mannequin too. So here we go. I love I love seeing stuff. Coffee is. Can we see that? Is that actually? It's kind of bright. I love this shop. So coffee is. Because the fan going to focus on that. There we go. Coffee is. So. Thanks, thanks, Gene. I appreciate that. Anyway, so um, she's in the hospital. I took her in, and it's the it's the big C. Stage four. Not good. I'm believing. I'm praying she's gonna get better. In the meantime, I may have to fly down there, which this is kind of a not a good time to fly. But you know, you you do what you got to do, right? So uh, Bunny and I are gonna fly down there, probably Wednesday. Uh, I got a little minor outpatient surgery I have to go do on uh, Tuesday. So yay me. So, and uh, so anyway, mom, she's not doing so hot. There's the, oh, these funky machines. I love these things, I don't know why. I'm always attracted by these, uh, Funky, funky machine. Let's walk over here just for grins and giggles. Check this out. You guys see these? All little light up, you know? It's basically children's gambling is what it is. 
you see all these things and you're like, yeah, more money, more money, you know, and you're gambling and hoping for, you know, big tickets and prizes they'll never get. Yeah, it's introductory kids gambling, definitely. Anyway, so, um, mom's in the hospital and I guess she doesn't know where she's at. My sister's there with her right now and she's screaming and hooping and hollering and all fun jazz, I'm quite sure. Her oxygen levels were way low, so uh, I guess last night they put her on some oxygen and uh, they even had to kind of tie her down a bit. I hate hearing it, but you know, these things happen, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, I'm not really sure how to feel. I'm not really sure how to feel about this, you know? I mean, because my mom, you know? And um, part of me is, you know, trying to be strong. Part of me wants to curl up like a little kid and kind of cry about it. And I just, I'm not quite sure what to say or, you know, what to think about all this. So, all right. Oh, yes, good, escalator. I was worried I was going to have to do steps. Big boys don't like steps. True story. Anyway, so um, I'm going to have to get down and uh, talk to uh, my sister and kind of take control of the situation and see what's going on there. Um, in the meantime, Bunny, as you know, she's been down in Hong Kong doing stuff. Uh, she is going to be uh, getting out of quarantine. She's here in Shanghai. She's getting out of quarantine in, uh, oh, there's the double decker sightseeing bus. I guess you guys won't see that. Oh, big trash, big trash going through. Actually, that's not trash. I bet that's some guy going on a, a Chinese New Year somewhere. Anyway, so I'm in uh, People Square. I want you to check out just how abandoned it's like there's nobody here. It's a Saturday. Where is everybody? There's nobody in People Square in Shanghai. What's up with that, dude? Oh. Normally, this is like balls to the wall busy, and there is nobody in here other than the little why my delivery guy peddling his McDonald's around Shanghai. Got to pedal that Mickey's, dude. Mickey D's, you know you need your Mickey D's. Oh, there's actually a Mickey D's right across the street there. What do you know? So, anyway. So yeah, oh dude, it's open to decathlon. You guys familiar with decathlon? Right there? Yeah, that's a good place to go for uh, people of a, uh, uh, Let's say a little more to love stature, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, I actually bought a coat there last year. Or was it the year before? Can't remember. Anyway, not terribly cold in Shanghai, but as you can see, it is wet, wet, wet. So, ooh, WMD King. Cool. Awesome. So, anyway. So, yeah, we're going to. Oh, this is we're still alive. Okay. Okay. I guess we got kind of locked up from it when he was trying to call. So anyway, uh, where's your wife? She's in uh, quarantine right now here in Shanghai. Look how small it is, dude. You can't even, yeah, I know, I know. My, my wife tried to call for a minute. Uh, that's a funny thing. You try to uh, live stream on your phone. Yeah, no tell what happens. Anyway, we're still in uh, People Square. It is foggy as snark. Uh, look at the old buildings there. I love some of these old uh, turn of the century art deco buildings. They're wonderful in Shanghai. Anyway. So yeah, we're just uh, making our way through Shanghai. Making our way. I guess I can't sing, right? So, hey, check it out. There's the garbage truck driving on the sidewalk in Shanghai. Garbage truck driving on the sidewalk. Only in Shanghai or anywhere else in China for that matter. So, there's the Grand Theater. And something that looks suspiciously like the Space Needle. Where's there it is? Right there. So I'm not really sure what that is. Quarantine, yeah, she's in quarantine. She was in Hong Kong for a little bit and uh, she's out of Hong Kong. She's back in Shanghai, but as you know, quarantine, 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 it is COVID. So it is 2021, which is 2020 part two, basically. So yeah, I am 
dude, can you see how, like, how, like, empty the streets are right now in Shanghai? Like, super empty. There's, like, nobody here. So, don't know why. Ooh, Hagen dies. So, yeah. I heard that's not really German. So, it's dead here, too. Yeah. It's one of those things. So, uh, what's this? Uh, Spring Festival, everyone love. Yep. It gets even more empty, dude. Even more empty in Shanghai after a bit. Nothing one can do about that, I suppose. Anyway, so I had to not eat last night and not drink because I had to go do the whole blood test thing. Yahoo. So I'm going to go get some really healthy food right now. Or I was looking for some. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. So big puddle. So I think I'm going to go get a little Mickey D's just because. Park Hotel, right here. Bam, you see it? Park Hotel. It's one of the older famouses, uh, famous, famouses? Is that a word, famouses? Famouses buildings. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna see about uh, making my way across the street. There's a couple people in the stream now, not really that many. We're not really, you know, approaching uh, levels, but it's an impromptu stream, so. If you're watching this live, thank you. And if you're not watching this live, I suppose still thank you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so long story short, uh, mom's in the hospital and my sister is trying to care for her. And she is, uh, here we go, time to cross. She's having a little difficult time with things right now. Um, I like these uh, little crosswalk thingies. Hello, right there, there you go, buddy. So they have the little little walk of shame camera going on there. So if you cross, you know, and you're not supposed to, they'll put your photo up there for the walk of shame. And with uh, China's new uh, social credit system, I'm sure they'll probably dock you a few points for uh, crossing when you're not supposed to. So what's this? A new movie with... Ching Chin and Ning Chang. There we go. The Soul. Interesting. And you guys can see QR code. QR code. So if you see one of these, you have to kind of zap in or show them your uh, QR code and let them know that uh, you are not a plague bearer. You do not have the zombie flu. It is cool for you to enter the premises. So on and so forth. Ah, the Silk King. Our advertising super loud. Oh, Silk King. Yep. Here we go. They got the SPD bank. Not sure why I always thought that sounded like an STD. So, yep, yep. Dude. Oh, there's a little dude. See the little dude over there across the street? He's got his little uh, little uh, thing written on. He's got the full uh, garb on there. Probably works at the hospital. And, you know, the marker written on the plastic on the back there. Whoa. Check out the uh, ambiguously gay bunny. Anyway. So, there we have it. So, yeah. Um, my sister's kind of having a hard time of it. She's uh, not really sure what to think. So, you know, they said, uh, Mom needs a transfusion. I said it was at... Uh, blood or plasma she's like i don't know okay are they giving mom uh, her blood type or are they giving her a universal donor nah, i don't know well, how many units are they giving her i don't know okay here's the thing yeah i got wi-fi yeah i got you know the ability to write these things down so when they tell you something uh look it up that would be awesome right don't just uh you know don't know this is mom so yeah Anyway, so um, I guess I'm seeing a few people out. I'm, but normally, People Square is just like massively huge, big. So, anyway, up oh, there's the bus, and there goes the bus. Oh, got a little why my delivery guy. So, Erlema, which literally means, are you hungry? 
are you hungry? You use her rep, or are you hungry? So I want to put uh, hospital information into my, uh, uh, my mate's Juan, so I can send food directly down to my sister down there. Um, but I guess she doesn't know how to do the apps, so yeah. It is what it is, definitely. Anyway, ah, here comes the popo. Here they come, ready? Here they come. There is Shanghai's finest. The popo, the blues and twos, the rosers. Live in Shanghai. You saw them first, folks. It was the Shanghai PD. Cruising around in their shiny uh, car. It's kind of funny. You see them occasionally on those little bikes, little scooters. And they got the little uh, the little you know, whapper sticks and whatever else. I, I think that's funny. I do. I don't know why I think it's funny, but I do. And I almost stepped in Dong Poo. Almost, not quite. Hey, it's the Huawei store. Yes, Huawei looks suspiciously like an Apple store inside. Ooh, nice Porsche. Nice. Anyway, so Decathlon, apparently they're selling uh, snowboards and skateboards. Because those goes, go on great. Little magnifying glasses and little food packets. So, yeah. So coming up on this tower right now, it looks suspiciously like the, uh, the tower in uh, Lord of the Rings. Those of you who are familiar with Shanghai probably know what I'm talking about already. Yep. Ooh. Come get your eggs. You want some eggs? Lots of eggs. Lots of eggs in Shanghai, apparently. Apparently, we got lots of eggs in Shanghai. Anyway, here we go. So, it looks especially like the tower from Lord of the Rings. You can't really see the top of it very well, especially with this camera, I realize. But uh, on a clear day with little funky little pinchers or whatever it looks suspiciously like the tower from lord of the ring so yeah anyway um here's some old turn of the century architecture here can you see the clock tower that looks super cool i love it i love some of these old uh things you still move across shanghai for those of you who know i mean the, the city proper is you know over 200 years old but there are parts of shanghai that's over 500 years old and i love seeing things like this you know it's just it's cool it's uh you know historic and unfortunately a lot of these things they're tearing down these days to make way for the new and exciting so hey check it out you think they have double duckers just in hong kong and london nope there we go double decker buses right here in shanghai double deckers in shanghai Come get your double decker. I've actually never been on a double decker in Shanghai. Never. Uh, it's not that I can't afford it. I just was never interested, you know? I mean, it's kind of a tourist thing. They'll come and show you all the things that if you live here, you already know, right? Hey, and there's the Shanghai Porsche. Come buy your Porsche in Shanghai. Pay too much money for a car. It will most certainly get dinged. The first time you drive it out because, hey, speaking of Porsche, there's a nice Porsche again. I really like that. So can you guys see that? Really cool Porsche. So, yeah, that's the one thing. I don't think I would own a nice car in Shanghai or in China because it's not like parts of America where you can drive for pure, pure driving pleasure. You know, there's always going to be someone that's going to cut you off and do something funky like that. But there's also the thing that anywhere you park it, it's probably gonna get dinged, scratched, beat up, uh, slightly abused, called a few nasty names. You know how it is. So, yeah. And you? So, I love that old clock tower though. That is so cool. So, don't know anything about it, but uh, I'm sure I could look it up. Hey, there's a Pacific Coffee across the street. Nifty. So, worst drivers, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's true. When you're driving along in Shanghai a lot of, or anywhere in China, a lot of times they'll cut you off to turn left. You know, you'd be, they'll be in the right-hand lane and cut you off to go left. Or just, you know, sometimes they drive like a school of fish. You know, it's one of those things. You see a lot of uh, people in Shanghai. They got their uh, suitcases and they're getting ready to travel. They're getting ready to go away, go down to where they need to go. 
And with the travel restrictions right now in China, it's like absolutely the wrong time to be traveling. But, uh, uh, you know, they're going to do it anyway. And unfortunately, I got to do it too. Get down there and see what's going on with mom. Spend a little time with her. Uh, relieve my sister. And, uh, yeah. So it is what it is. I hate that cutoff stuff. So I hate that cutoff stuff. Yeah, I do too. Uh, and unfortunately, they, they, they walk that way too. People drive like they walk. You ever notice when you're walking, people are they're just like looking straight forward. And so if you walk in front of someone, they're like, whoa. It was just like, whoa, every time because they like, you know, weren't expecting someone else to be there. People pretty much drive, you know, and walk the same way. They look forward because everyone else is looking forward. And it works if everyone's doing the same thing. But then those of us come from the West and we're kind of used to looking left, looking right. Beep, beep. Yep, but why am I, why am I delivery? Why am I coming through? Got your mate Tuan, got your Lemon, making your rounds. So I like this. This dude here on his little scooter, he's like looking at his phone the entire time. Looking at his phone. He's riding a scooter on the streets and he's looking at his phone. Well done, sir. Looking at that phone when you should be looking at the road. Well done. So, yeah. Anyway, foggy. Oh, there we go. There's the uh, sightseeing double decker. So they have another one that has uh, no top on it, but this one does. So, and it's like entirely too much money to take one of those. So I never have. But you could, if you were, uh, you know, if you really wanted to, I suppose. You take a double decker to parts unknown, and they will show you all the parts that you already know. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> so. There you go. The guys, oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's just looking at his phone. Yeah, so, so yeah, walk exactly out the way. I like to run the bubble and you know, the split second before they bump into you. Yep, that's true. My mask is trying to fall off here. So, my favorite lately is seeing people that you know. Of course, most people you have to wear the mask on the metro. But you see people all the time that are on the metro, like this. They're like this. It's like, why are you wearing your mask like this? This is doing nothing, right? So fogging up my glasses. And my glasses are foggy and I can't see anything. Well done, Snarky. Well done. There you go. Look at your phone, smoking your fag, and not paying attention to the road. Nice. So anyway, so uh, what else is new? Not much. Um, we're kind of dialing in that computer at home. No Mac Mini, getting that going good. Um, funky story. Um, so I had an old uh, uh, iMac, uh, one of the 27-inch iMacs. It wasn't new, but a job. It was a pretty good computer, Core i7, when I updated to that Mac Mini. So uh, I put it in the uh, uh, up online, advertised it here in Shanghai, and sure enough, some guy came, looked it over, and he bought it. And I told you about the other guy. Some guy was like, "Oh yeah, I'm kind of interested." But, uh, Computer, why don't you bring it over to the house and I'll see if I want to buy it. Really? Really? No, it doesn't work that way. He's like, oh yeah, just put it on your scooter and bring it up. No, uh-uh. Come on, I think it's a boat anchor. You know, the iMac computers are great, but those things are heavy as a small oh man, boat anchor, really. So, uh, you know, another guy came over, nice uh, Russian dude, looked it over, said he was interested. Cool. He bought it. <coughs> Pardon me. He bought it. I need a little windshield wipers here. He bought it and uh, took off. It's okay, cool. You know, I mean, I don't know how he probably probably got a DD. Took it home, had it for like. Contacts me just the other day. He says, "Hey, uh, I don't think it's working out. I'm having trouble editing photos." And I'm thinking, "What?" Well, yeah, up. My wife is trying to call me again. Anyway, so uh, probably answer my phone sooner or later. Anyway, so uh, he came by and he said he was interested and wanted to buy it and uh, he bought it, took it home and he's having trouble editing photos and I'm like, hang on a second, I'm editing video on that. You know, it had 16 gigs of RAM, it's fine, there's no reason you can't use it to edit video uh, and so editing photos should be much simpler and he said it wasn't working out for him. I can appreciate that, but he had the computer for like uh, three weeks and he's asking to return it and I'm like, no. No, I'm not gonna return that, man. I mean, that's the thing, you know, you buy a computer from someone, you can't, you know, 
I'm not Taobao, I'm not Walmart, I don't have a returns department, you know? Plus, this is an electronic and not a new electronic, so I don't know what you've done to it, you know? Maybe you've uh, told it a bunch of dirty jokes and, uh, you know, who knows what you've done to it. So I'm not taking it back. And he's like, well, I'll compensate you 300 quai. Thank you. No. <laughs> Sorry. Not going to do that. So, uh, yeah. In the end, I uh, didn't... Uh, you know, he said that he respected my decision, so well, the guy's got the little, uh, little mouth cap on there. Kind of cool. There you go. He goes ears warm. So my hat's a little too short. Mine warm. Anyway, so I uh, told him no, and that was that. So in any case, um, yeah. So there's a little guy, a little why my guy. They're zipping all over the place. I'm starting to see a few more people out here. Not a whole lot. Like I said, uh, for some reason, uh, People Square normally is super busy, and today, not so much. They had a couple of cases, uh, COVID cases recently in uh, People Square, so I think that's probably what's going on. So, yeah, the guy tried to play you. I know. I know. I'm not having it. So, so sorry, la, not taking it back, la. So, but anyway, it is what it is so hey you guys want to see some porsches let's go into the porsches let's go still got some porsches why not right we're in shanghai we're gonna look at some porsches in shanghai why not see what they got to offer us in the fine porsche establishment here in shanghai so uh, Hey, Ooh. Oh, dude, check this out. This is the uh, the all-electric one right there. The all-electric Porsche. I actually saw um, Marcus Brownlee. Hi. Uh, this? Um, I can, but I'm actually live streaming right now. So I can't do it right now. Can I, can I show it to you in a minute? Can I show it to you in a minute? Um, see, see, it's, see, live. So, hi. So, is this Porsche Shanghai? Hmm. So, is this the all electric Porsche? So, can I, I, I can, but I'm, I'm live streaming right now, so I can't really get off the app. Can I show it to you in a minute? So, okay. yeah, Danisha, Danisha. So, I will, I promise. So, I just want to show some people some Porsches, because I'm here. Oh, check out this color. Oh, I love that color. That's amazing. I don't think she speaks a lot of English, and so she's not going to force it. I know I probably should be showing her my QR code, but I'll lose you guys if I do it. So, so, yeah. Can't get my class on. These are not the, these are not the droids you're looking for. So, ooh, check out that one. I love it. I love it. Got the HIDs. Check this out, guys. Ooh. Nice. I like it. Let's see what we got here. We got some nice ones over here. Ooh. Got the Porsche Cayenne. So, there you go. How much do you think this is? How much do you guys think this is? It's only 1,173,400 RMB. Only, that's a bargain price right there, my friends. Bargain price on a Porsche in Shanghai. Here's the 718 Boxer. 718 boxer how much do you think that goes for how much do you think that 718 boxer goes for well if you said it's going for a bargain price of only 699,300 rmb you're the big winner today nice here's the uh all electric four door the four door porsche all electric porsche so this is the this is the Taycan 4S. You said this Taycan 4S is only 167,700 RMB. You are the big winner today. <laughs> That's right. Dude, check out this. It's like the iPhone 12 color, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a, you, you get a, like a matching iPhone to go along with this one. So here is the Cayenne. And yes, it is 1 million. 
71,500 RMB. For the Kion Turbo, ooh, it matches your iPhone. Because you know you want to buy a Porsche that matches your iPhone. Check that out. Ooh. All black. As uh, Marcus Brownlee says, matte black everything. Yeah. So I kind of like I kind of like this color in this one. It's kind of like a baby blue electric. So nifty. Oh crap! I just I totally told that lady I was going to show her my QR code and I walked out and I forgot. Oops. Bad snarky, bad snarky. No telling, ladies, you'll show them your QR code, not do it. Bad snarky. <sighs> oh, well, these things happen, I suppose. Anyway, so, uh, why, why my delivery check? Uh, the why my delivery The meat one, why my delivery check? Yes. Because why not? Girls can do everything boys can do including seriously demeaning uh, delivery jobs. Why not? There we have it. So, four-door Tycon over there. Not, uh, almost stepped right in that dirty, dirty water. So you see the guys that's kind of hanging out here. They're little delivery guys. They're waiting to pick up an order. Presumably, presumably waiting to pick up an order. So, going around this way. I can actually see what's going on. So, oh, I love these little, uh, I guess you call it garbage trolleys. I don't know what. What would you call that? Garbage trolley? It's kind of funky. It's kind of different, yeah. So, you got the little uh, trash can on the back. Woo, sorry. Do I have a cheese? Do I have So, woo, how you So, Got a little garbage can right on the back there and you got your uh controls on the front and there you have it so you too can troll around shanghai on a garbage trolley garbage trolley troll around on the garbage trolley anyway so yeah um we are still in people square and uh not seeing anything what's this uh, we got uh, some heritage thing over there. I don't know what that is. So, not even really a lot, a lot of traffic. I mean, uh, not much traffic here. And I, again, I, I realize we're getting closer and closer to Chinese New Year, but uh, you still kind of expect there to be, you know, traffic. Was it last year, I think? Was it last year or the year before uh, Mama Who Who did that video about, you know, zombies had invaded Shanghai and there's like nobody here and they're just kind of nobody happening nobody going anywhere so kind of seems that way a lot of times uh, i remember bunny and i when we first came to shanghai it was literally literally not metaphorically existentially or spiritually literally next to nobody in shanghai Ooh. what we have here all right guys i want you to tell me and i want you to be honest could this be like a new snarky look right here Lose this one. Yeah, my hair is kind of messy. Ah. Okay, gotta use both hands. Use both hands. So what do you think? Could this be like a new snarky look right here? Could this be a, like, a, like a thing? So, I don't know. It sure is warm and fuzzy though. Kind of, you know, kind of cowish. I don't know, what do you think? Could it be a new look for me? Should I? Could I, should I, would I? I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's put that back because I don't want to be stealing anything. Stealing bed. No, all right, get my own hat on. Can I do that with one hand? Oh, oh, hey, the garbage trolley guy came back. So he's just kind of hanging out there. That's the garbage trolley dude. So, hi, that's a garbage trolley lady because girls can do anything boys can do. Absolutely true story greetings from nanjing hey i've been to nanjing nanjing's a cool place dude hey check this out see the little why my uh mcdonald's guys got the little backpack on i think it's hilarious i don't know why i think it's hilarious you got the a lot of these guys they have a the little cart in the back of the bike 
but his is just this giant backpack. He just straps that big backpack right on, goes out and uh, he's gonna pedal his McDonald's and he's off to the races. In the lead, it's the uh, Why My Delivery Guy. McDonald's going for a thing. He's gonna do the illegal U-turn and there he goes. Bye. I think it was a normal day they would probably would have stopped him doing that because it's uh not quite kosher to be uh making funky u-turns in shanghai so <coughs> all right so i am gonna go get some incredibly healthy food oh my goodness you have no idea how healthy that's right okay just get to kind of take my temperature there say hi so, all right, I'm gonna get in line behind someone here. So they got these little kiosks. I mean, I got them in some areas, but they have them all over in China now, little kiosk. You can order your food and pay for it with a QR code. So we're gonna do that because I'm kind of hungry. We got some coupons today. Get your coupons, coupons at McDonald's. At Mickey D's. Oh, I think that one's open over there. I'm going to sc scoot over here. Uh, okay, so here we go. Touch the start. And I like English, please. I would like to Ian, please. Yeah, thank you very much. And what do we want today? Hmm. Any suggestions? Any suggestions what we want to order today? Hmm. Well, let's see. I think we're just going to do the... Oh, they have the Angus beef. Nice. Oh, here we go. You just cannot say no to the thick Angus double beef with cheese sauce in Mickey D's. Let's see. I'll just have a... Uh... Actually, you know what? That seems like a little a little much, actually. Let's just put the extra value meal. I'm kind of cheap. I'm too cheap, la. Let's see. <laughs> A little double cheese. Oh, yeah. That's the way to do it. Cancel. Come on. It's not doing what I wanted to do. Breakfast, lunch. Actually, technically both. Technically both, dude. Um, because I uh, I didn't get a chance to uh, have breakfast because I had that procedure this morning. So, come on. Okay. And let's see. What do we want with that uh ooh, twisty fries and let's do a little fused tea big we're gonna customize that bad boy right now with none ice none ice that's a true story so fly changes come on and add to order all right uh no thank you on the extras so all right, now you guys may freeze for a moment here while I bring up my eye kit. So if I freeze, I'll be right back. I'm back. So you're uh, sticking a little bit too long, actually. So still thinking about that. Still thinking. So all right, guys. This I've actually been. I didn't end for this to go incredibly long, but uh, uh, failed. So. All right, hang on a sec here. Sorry about that, guys. My little uh, receipt. They kind of take hiccups out. So the board, Archie, yo, yo, Joe. So we're waiting for our food. Uh, this would probably be a good time in a little bit to. Uh, um, anyway, uh, those of you who are of the persuasion, uh, lift my mom up in prayer. Uh, those of you who are not. You know, so happy vibes and all and uh i'm gonna catch you guys later appreciate you guys joining me for a little walkabout in uh, shanghai downtown we'll catch you later guys <laughs>